In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a pretty scene from just a flat picture. You only need Photoshop and After Effects. Let's get into the tutorial right now. So we got this skater right here. First thing you'll want to do is cut him out of the frame. Cut him out of the picture. The tool that is gonna be needed right now is select a mask. Let's do detail results because I don't know. No, I want the results, maybe. How about that? Select subject and it's gonna select subject. Wow. I'm gonna click OK and this should be how, how it looks. There's a little probability probability that it will be a selection. If it is, then just click here. Click on the layer mask and you should have what I have right now. As you can see, Adobe is pretty shit at making selection. So guess what? I gotta do it by hand. <laughs> Okay, we we got the we got a guy. I'm gonna apply the mask we made right here, and I'm gonna call it something like character. Character. I'm gonna do background. Well, I don't need to name it background because it's named background. I'm gonna hold hold control and press on that little thumbnail right here. Now it's gonna make a selection around this. What we need to do is go to select, modify, and expand it like 40 pixels and we're gonna use generate fill if you don't have generated fill go down to the description and there is a free tool that that's a, basically a plugin that you make a selection and you click somewhere here probably generate the fill and it will do the same so generate i'm gonna disable him to see the background more clearly and this should be fine while well, holding shift i'm gonna press layer zero after that i'm gonna control e on that bitch so i'm gonna name it background what what a beautiful name and I'm gonna save this as a PSD file. And now we're done with Photoshop. That that's what you had to do. Now we're going to After Effects, my favorite tool, After Effects. We're going to drag the skate park pick, the the thing we saved. I'm gonna use it as a composition. Toggle that editable edit edit editable. I think that's how you pronounce editable layers. I'm gonna toggle that on, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go into the composition and what we can see is the two layers from Photoshop to make the parallax effect basically we need to turn this on and while this is turned on let's create a camera you don't have to like make it in this order you can create a camera and then turn the the, the, the things on but that's how I'm gonna do it bro and I'm gonna switch to not not this from active camera to the, from the output what the viewer will see when you render the the footage default is basically like a perspective mode in minecraft you can just float around here and do some funny stuff so there's two ways you can go about this you can take the character and make it closer to the camera or you can get the background and make it farther from the camera it's basically the same thing but when you're working with some more like advanced 3D stuff, there is a difference. I'm gonna scale it because I mean this has to fit the output and to actually see the output, I'm gonna do that. Oh well, as you can see, it I did not scale it enough. I'm gonna scale it some more. I'm gonna create a null. I advise you. This is a, this is a tip. This is a tip. Just not not for this tutorial, but I'm gonna I'm gonna include it anyway. When you're moving the camera, you don't want to move it by this these values here. You don't want to move it by these values. Trust me, you don't want to do it. Instead, you want to create a null. You want to make it 3D, and then you want to parent the camera to the null. Because I mean, if you have two layers, like let's say you animate this, you're gonna make adjustment here. Because what you can't make it smooth because if you wanted to make a second movement to the left, left maybe. Then you would have to go here and make it to the left. You can make a smooth movement instead. Guess what? You use nose. Yeah. When you make a position animation, you can do that and then you can add a null camera and null object. Make it 3D and attach the previous null to this null. Now, guess what? You can do a smooth animation in the middle of the animation, the first animation. You can do another animation. Wow. You can move it to the right and it will move smoothly. It will move smoothly right now because it's the keyframe sound here. Yeah. I can select this and press F9. And my PC is pretty slow, but you can see there is some smoothness to this, but this was completely not for this tutorial. <laughs> I just gave you opportunity of a lifetime, brother. Let's animate the camera, right? Let's animate the camera so it looks like it's it's really moving. So I'm gonna scale the, the background pretty like that. 
I'm gonna scale the background like that. Select these keyframes and press F9 to ease the keyframes. Then adjust the graph here. I'm gonna do that right now because it's my favorite curve. Just, you can, yeah, it's curve. I think it's curve. Now when I play it, this layer should be moving faster than the background. And guess what? It does. What? <laughs> Yeah, that's the Parallax effect guys. If you have any animation that you'd like to see a breakdown of, just comment down below and if I heard your message, you can be sure that tutorial is on the way. The subject of the tutorial is your comment. It's on the way, bro. I'm gonna cut zero subscribers right now, so there's like 100% probability that I will make a tutorial out of your comments. So if you want to see me like break down anything that you don't understand, if you want to learn anything, then just comment down below and I'll be sure to make a tutorial about this. Thanks guys. See you in another one.